we're creating a custom solution for our cabinetry here on the bottom of this room. Today's video, I'm gonna take you through the process of creating a custom built-in entertainment wall with two bookcases and a built-in fireplace that is retrofitted with its own ducting system. So we're just gonna have enough for some drywall and backer board to be attached to it at this point. And as you can see, I have just as much space as I had last time. And if we need to, we can keep notching it. All right, so at this point, we have built the entire frame support. We have notched. Now I'm gonna clean this up with a tape, with aluminum tape. We're gonna apply the vent over top of this and then we're gonna feed the pipe underneath here and then we're gonna come it out here. When you're building out your ducting system, you wanna decide where is the actual vent going to be. Are you gonna have it at the bottom? Are you gonna have it on the side? You're gonna have it on both sides. It's really up to you. Now, make sure that you have something that can handle the heat. So this is a four inch flexible hose. You, people use this in um, HVAC venting. This is a, a little more heavy duty one. And it's uh, able to withstand 200 and I think 75 Celsius, something like that. First and foremost, turn the fan on and you wanna undo any screws that may be on the sides covering it. Next, you're gonna grab yourself a, probably a four inch duct connector. So this is what you put in your metal vent into. Um, this is what we're gonna do to attach over top and to capture the heat. What I did is I cut with my grinder here out so I can have a better fitment. Now you don't necessarily have to do that. You're gonna have to use a lot more tape, but in my case, I cut all the slits and I rounded it off. That this fits perfectly under here now. See that? And now these ends I'm going to tape with aluminum tape and contain all the heat from the inside and the outside. At this point, you can decide if you wanna go all the way down, if you wanna go to the side. It's really honestly up to you. Again, you're building your own ducting system with this. So with this, we could place this like that. And then we would take this and we would connect that to here and then feed it up, 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 and into here. You get the idea. Oh yeah, right now it's coming out to here. And yes, of course, it's still bleeding out a little, but most of it is concentrated at above. So now we're gonna tape these edges, this edge and this edge, being careful not to cover all this venting. In addition, here at least there was one extra screw. So we've undone that and I cut a hole right there. So now when we place this, we'll be able to screw this in, making a tighter seal. All right, now we're gonna put tape all around. This is very flexible tape. tape they can withstand very high and low temperatures. Make sure the heat is on the whole time so you can see if there's any air leaks out on the side or not. So once this is all taped off, you wanna, you don't need to, but you can just put a little bit on the inside as well. So we have added the tape on the inside. We have taped all the way around. The screw is nice and sealed. There's absolutely no air leaks whatsoever. We've even applied a little tape over here and now we're ready to reroute this. We're going to grab our uh, aluminum pipe. Now this one has better heat induction. I think that's the right word than this one. This is old school sheet metal. I tried using that, but this actually gets hotter than this one. So we're gonna use this one, but we're gonna grab a clamp, place this, this is a four inch. We're gonna place this over top like that. And then now we're gonna go and clamp this. We're gonna add a piece of tape and then we're gonna find where we're gonna root that. Now, just in case we did get this, this is a coupler. So we may need to connect this to that because this does stretch out to eight feet, but one, two, three, four, we already pretty much at six. So just to have enough clearance, we got a second one. All right, so this has been on for maybe four minutes. And as you can see, I can touch it, but it's definitely warm. 
Now, if I touch this, this is just as warm. So this one's a little bit of squished here, but this does pull out, as you can see. You wanna be very careful when you stretch this out because this could tear very easily. But it does pull out to about eight feet. So it came out pretty good and it works and definitely provides a lot of heat. Today we did the electrical. So we fished out the wire from the bottom, relocated it right up here. So this will be for the fireplace and for the TV. We had to do a whole lot of fishing and trying to figure out where it is. Then we're gonna mud over it and uh, we're gonna build in our uh, TV stand. Once you have the inners patched up, at least with the first layer, you're gonna be keep going over it and sanding it until it's nice. Yeah, filled in these edges here, the cracks. You have to do something up there. And it's gonna be a couple of coats, but it's better to apply more coats than uh, to do a lot of sanding. And here we used um, edging, metal edging here, uh, like this. This is the sheetrock edging, you can see. So we left space in here so we can put our drywall when we do the built-in in today. We also got some edging for our tiles because we're going with white. We're either gonna go with this white 3 8 uh, edging or we also picked up this uh, sort of um, matte, I think this is nickel option as well so we'll see which one goes better it's gonna give you a nice easier straighter um, line and then you can pock the whole thing and then you place the other one um, well other way here you do one on each of these sides as well right so it's gonna look pretty good when it's done we're gonna be custom creating all the shelving in here we went to ikea we grabbed a couple of lac shelves and we're measuring out the equal distance that we're gonna be using for the shelves. We wanted to have a nice thick shelving unit and we didn't want to have any hangers. This lac shelf has three prongs and I'm gonna cut this here, which is gonna give us a lot of strength and support. Now we're putting one up there to three, four, and then here we're using a Linman because that's gonna be a little wider than the shelf. The shelf is only 10 and a half or 11 inches. From here to here is almost 13 and a half. So for that, we can't use the shelf. Instead, we're gonna be using uh, a Linman, which is a longer version, almost like a tabletop. And then we're gonna trim that, and that's gonna be on top of these cabinet doors that we're going to also custom cut to here. That's what we're doing with a custom built-in shelving unit with cupboards on both sides with the built-in fireplace and the TV. We actually got the two TVs. They're downstairs right now. We're going to pick one. So these are the two TVs we're going to pick from. These are 250 inch. Now we didn't choose these TVs based on their features. We chose these TVs based on the size and how it's going to look inside the room and depending on how we decide to do the mounting. Let's go cut this. And there's a hole. Put this through. And this should fit. Yep, it fits. And now, hopefully, we measure it off correctly. There is our first shelf. Place this against it. And carefully. Quiet. And then 
The biggest issue that we've been having is after we installed these shelves, because of the uneven nature of the wall, we had lots of little gaps all the way around. Now, we just put this piece up yesterday. You can see what I'm talking about right there, right? So that has to be all filled in with the uh, drywall mud, which also means that we're gonna have to paint this entire unit before we go and paint the teal in between. The doors here, we're going to tackle today as well. So we're gonna put two cabinets on this side under the bookcase and on the other side. We're gonna be using two uh, vetting Ikea doors. Um, these are 20 by 18, but I had to trim them um, to fit the space from here to here. And on the back of here, we're gonna be attaching one of these uh, national hardware hinges. Because we're gonna have an aluminum edging here, right? we can't really drill into this. So instead, I did a little test right over here you can see that this hinge is working quite nicely the only thing is that we're gonna have to have a piece of wood on the inside here it works so we're gonna be putting in some magnetic latches on the inside with a push so I'm gonna show you how the whole thing is going to look so we're just gonna be placing this in place, like so. And there you go. And there is your custom built shelving with cabinets. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We need to figure out exactly how the, the mount is gonna work with the TV. So we got like four TVs just to see. Well, just to make sure that we get the right fit. I wanna know where you guys are at your uh, progress so if you did decide to do a built-in or even a little tiny built-in let me know in the comments below anyways that's it for now thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next one mm -hmm.